Hello, everybody. Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. And for those who don't know me, I am your host, Teacher Cole. I am the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner. We are an international group of teachers who are highly qualified and ready to teach your student English in exciting and unique manner. We teach through traditional means, literature, science, social studies, and geography as well, among other things. But today is story time. And today we are going to read another fun and entertaining story. Today we are going to read Topsy and Tim. We are going to follow Topsy and Tim as they have fun in a rainy day. But Tim is a little bit stubborn and he learns a lesson about it as well. So let's get started, shall we? Topsy and Tim. Red boots, yellow boots. When Topsy and Tim looked out of the window for the first time on Monday morning, the rain was pouring down. Mr. Finn, who lived next door, was holding a big stripy umbrella. Nice weather for ducks, he called. Two pairs of boots were standing in the hall. Yellow boots for Topsy and red boots for Tim. Mummy pulled and Topsy pushed. And Topsy had her boots on, ready to go to the playground, the playgroup. Now you, Tim, said Mummy. Tim was very naughty and stamped and shouted, I don't want my boots. All right, said Mummy. You can wear your ordinary shoes. It's time you learned a lesson. So when Tim and Topsy set off for playgroup, Topsy was wearing her big yellow boots, but Tim was wearing his ordinary shoes. Tim could run faster in his ordinary shoes. So he danced in circles around Topsy, shouting, funny boots, funny boots. Tim walked backwards in front of Topsy and put his tongue out. And then he stepped right into a deep, deep puddle, splash. Hmm. Yo! He howled. My feet are all cold and wet. Topsy walked right through the puddle, the big puddle, and didn't get cold or wet at all. Come inside quickly, children, called Miss Maypole, and change into your dry shoes. Why ever aren't you wearing your big red boots, Tim? 
asked Miss Maypole. He wouldn't put them on, laughed Topsy. <laughs> What a silly little boy, said Miss Maypole. I shall have to hang your wet socks up to dry. Tim had to sit on a table with his bare feet dangling. When Mummy came to fetch them home, she had Tim's big red boots in her zip up bag. He put them on quickly. Ooh. Topsy and Tim plodged through all the big puddles on the way home. Splash, 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 splash. Good old red boots, said Tim. Hmm. That is the end of our story today. What lesson do you think Tim learned? Let's have some fun and look at some exercises. You can pause the video to answer the questions and talk about some of these topics with your parents or siblings. So let's look at number one. Talk about the story. Retell what is happening in these pictures. We start with A and we go to B. C and D. Can you tell a story with these pictures? Number two, Tim's boots are red. Topsy's boots are yellow. Can you match the pairs of boots here? Oh, look here. Number one, Topsy and Tim planted some seeds. Talk about what happened after they planted them. So here in picture A, Topsy and Tim are planting the seeds. <gasps> what happens in pictures B, C and D after they plant the seeds. Number two, Topsy and Tim are looking for the missing words in these rhymes about the rain. Do you know these rhymes? Can you say the words? Here we go. And our last page, number one. Help Topsy and Tim to work out the puzzle. Which is wet and which is dry? Picture A or picture B? Oh, number two. Which is on and which is off? Picture A and picture B. Number three. Hmm, look at this picture. Which is up and which is down? I wonder. And number four. Look at the picture. Which kite is high and which kite is low. Don't forget to pause the video to answer these questions. Well, this is the end of our story today. How do you feel about the lesson that Tim learned?
Have you ever been stubborn before? Well, I hope you enjoyed our story today. And I hope you join me next week for a brand new story, Story Time with Teacher Cole. And as always, feel free to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner, where you will find like-minded parents and have access to not only me, but all of my teachers in my company at TCEC. I look forward to seeing you again in a new story. Goodbye.